half hour. I so appreciate you shopping with me. I'll see you next time, and thanks again. The number one best-selling product in the entire Professor Amos line is the Fast Drain Cleaner. When I say fast, it's an understatement. It should be called instant, okay? Absolutely. It should be like blink an eye and it's gone. Super fast. Super fast, Woo. okay? Because this is the drain cleaner that is gonna work for you so beautifully. We're gonna give you two bottles, two bottles at $34.95, free shipping and three flex payments. And um, stock up on this. We don't always carry it. There are times of the year when we can't ship it, but seeing as believing and please call in with your testimonials this is number one best selling product in the line and yeah. you're about to see why yeah we're selling you a result we're not selling you anything else um take a look i just got to show you a couple things and we're yeah. going to get started excess of uh, uh wear and tear around the holidays you got a lot of family and friends coming over and your drain lines they get all this build up in there look at that it's terrible oh. there could be little bugs in there hairs lotions and potions and that coagulates the clogging your line and think about the temperature change it goes down your drain warm and it gets it gets cold and it clogs it up no Use our super fast drain cleaner. So come on down here, watch this. You see that drain line right there? We've got a bunch of oil by product in there and we've got hair, lotions and potions. Watch this, we bought the comparison at the store. And I'm gonna show you that first because a lot of people do this. I'm gonna pour about as much as I can fit in there, maybe four or five ounces. And what you're gonna see, we're gonna wait. Uh, you don't see anything, it's not moving yet, but it might take you time. You notice, a foot pedal too. it does. Back here I have a foot pedal that you will get with it. I have now stitched on that with a twine, that striped twine that gives you that impression of baker's twine. Now, that is something you're not going to be able to do with your regular sewing machine. It just isn't possible. This, because we have that coated needle, you now are able to use thicker threads, metallic threads, to create beautiful projects on your machine. Let me trim that away. Okay. And we'll get started with the next. Oh, did and I I'll lose tell my you, thread? Of if, course I did. If you um, blinked, you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> because it, re it really now makes the stitching so fast. And that was why we were so excited about it. That's why it's our showstopper. Exactly. This is a machine that will allow you to do all of the things. I know when I make cards, I've always wanted to be able to stitch on them. Mm -hmm. But your regular sewing machine isn't built for that. Paper is tougher. It will dull your needles quicker. Mm -hmm. Let's look at a few more of the features of the machine. So I'm gonna take you back over here so that you can see this one, which is turned forward. Okay. Right here on the dial, you have several different stitches. Not only do you have ones for sewing, which are the sewer stitches, but you have the crafting stitches as well that will give you a wider stitch, a zigzag stitch, the scallop stitch, which is like my favorite because when else have you ever seen a scallop stitch on a sewing machine? <laughs> it has the buttonhole stitch. So you can, again, do those uh, those basic sewing um, projects that you want to be able to make, but also do the crafting projects that you want to make as well. Mm -hmm. Right here, if we look down here, you have the alignment guide. This is such a great tool. So when I'm crafting with cards, and I want my car, let's say I want to measure exactly five inches from the edge. I can do that. I have inch measurements here. Oh, good. And then on the back of the machine, we do have centimeters as well. Nice. So we have that metric measurement for those who want to use it, okay? Okay. Now, I'm going to take you back over here to this is the machine that I have set up for fabric. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you a few. I have black thread loaded in there. And I'm going to slowly. Okay. Let's see, I'm not sure which, which stitch I had ready. Oh, this is a scallop one, you guys see oh, that? Oh, nice, yeah. A scallop stitch coming through. And so I'm stitching a pom-pom trim right onto a tea cloth. You're getting that beautiful stitch front and back. I love that scallop stitch, oh my gosh, <laughs> oh my gosh. And all I have to do is turn my, you can't see it, but I'm turning the dial right on the back. And, and the, again, it's it's more low tech, so there's no computer involved. It's no, not one of those no, no, kind no, of no. computerized this machines. This is something yeah. that you're going to be comfortable with using yeah. right out of the box. If you're familiar with sewing, you'll be able to use this right out of the box, no problem. Mm -hmm. If you're new to sewing, I would encourage you to get this, read the manual, and the people that I've spoken to who are new to sewing, about 45 minutes, and yeah. they're kind of up and running and feel very, very comfortable with the machine. So it's Good. not something that is difficult to use. Okay. It is very lightweight. Mm -hmm. It's very lightweight. I don't want that to fool you about quality because quality on this machine is impeccable. It is a metal frame, which will not only allow you to have the quality, but if you wanted to take this with you, you could. Yeah. You could take this with you to a crop or to somewhere. If you want to go show off your machine, girl. Yeah. 
Do you? I don't blame you. Take I would want you. you as well. This this kind of retro modern sleek yeah. look of it is something that you you walk in to a crop with this sewing machine yeah. and everyone else has like that the boring one. <laughs> Can I say that? Right. The boring one. <laughs> the boring one. You are going to be the talk of the town with this you machine. Are. I'll, and I'll tell you, it weighs a less than most laptops. It weighs seven pounds, and that's it. E like you said, easy to take along with you. Really, I know you're going to say, all right, so I can sew on paper. I can sew on felt. I can sew on fabric. I've got my pom-poms here. You saw that. Yep. I'm, so I'm using that alignment guide again. You know, I want to, you know, get a straight line. We, we want our projects to look professional. Mm -hmm. And so I've aligned it right here at, I think this is three inches. Okay. And I'm gonna press down and just let my machine go to work. I'm doing a straight stitch now. I'm gonna switch to a zigzag stitch and all I have to do is just switch on over to the zigzag stitch on the dial. Okay. Oops. What did I just do? Let me see, there we go. Okay. okay. Nope. It's not like in that one. Okay, let's switch over here to this machine then while well, that one takes a rest. Okay. <laughs> and try this one. So this one I'll show you the zigzag stitch on. There we go. And you can see that nice and bright black against the white to see how that stitch looks like. Yeah. And so you that you have that zigzag. option. Exactly. So you have that option there. And I'll bring you, I know we're jumping around a lot, but I have a lot of machines to because I want to show you all of the features. Mm -hmm. Right here you have the... Um, the this button right here allows you to backstitch. So you know when you start stitching, you want to make sure that your stitch is secure. Yeah. You want to press this down, and that will backstitch for you and allow you to secure your stitch into place. Right here on the side is where you have your on-off button. Okay. Just like that. And then you have two ports, one for power and one for your presser foot. And I can't show you here, but you can see on this machine here, I have a light. So yeah. you're gonna be able to turn your light on and off with this little button on the side of your machine. So nice. you have a light to be able to illuminate your projects. Okay. Super, super simple. And then on the back, there's a little, there's a little um, hole, I call it the, the like, debris hole, I don't really know <laughs> if that's like the actual word for it. Okay. But this is where, if you need to clean out your, if you need to clean out the machine, you can take the brush that it comes with, uh -huh. and you're able to get in there. You can also even attach like a small um, oh, like home a vacuum. vacuum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And okay. get out all that. Because when you do uh, create with paper, you're mm -hmm. going to have more debris because paper is more fibrous. Okay. And you will have more debris, but it's very wow. easy to access it. So, you know, it's not, it's high tech in the sense that we really thought of everything that you would need as a mm -hmm. sewer and as a crafter, mm -hmm. but it is not high tech in how you're going to use it. That's really good, and they, they really have thought of everything. And look at some of the I projects. I want to show you some done. of the projects. So these are the cards. You know, like I said, you're going to want to use this to create all sorts of multimedia projects using paper and embellishments. So that's what we've done here. There's that zigzag stitch right there. Very nice. There is that zigzag stitch again in a circle. These are really adding depth and intricacy to your projects mm -hmm. with a machine that really hasn't existed before. We haven't had access to a machine that was made for us crafters and for sewers together. Right. You know, right here we, and again, adding, adding those felt embellishments to your cards. Stitching across a word like that. I remember wanting so badly to be able to do this with my cards like years ago mm -hmm. and not really being able to do it with with my um, with my sewing machine. And so it goes right through that paper very cleanly. I should also note, I know a lot of people have been asking how many pieces of paper can I go through? Mm -hmm. um, you can go through, if you're using, let's say you want to make a notebook mm -hmm. and you want to stitch down the spine of that notebook. Oh, okay. Um, it's a great like little project to do. Yeah. You can use about six pieces of text weight paper and create a 12 page notebook. Once you double those over, you can create a 12 page notebook. It will stitch right through them. Oh, that would be great. So that is another one. And you can see right there on the inside, it's perfect and it's clean and it gives you that stitched look. Okay. And look at these. Look at that. Oh, isn't that's that, so pretty. Isn't that so pretty? To get that um, thicker twine is yeah. so nice because it, it, it really pops against the paper as opposed to a thinner twine. This one gives you that distinct, distinct look that you want. Okay. And then look at this. Right there. Again, just all these different ideas that you can do. And whether it's on cards or I even love some of the, I'm just going to come around here real quick. Even on, even on um, the, the hooray that we've got down here, this is all stitched onto the pom-poms, right? Onto the felt letters going all the way through and all the way around the felt letters. So there's a lot of different ideas that you can do here from whether it's celebrations or home decor, you even did a, a, a pillow. 
as well as a little bag. Maybe it's like a uh, like a like a um, a favor bag or something like that. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with this, whether you're doing it on fabric or on paper or both. You know, or both at the same time. You know, I should I'm say, so, which is yeah. what you did right there. I forgot all about these over here. I'm yeah. so used to them being over there by me. But yes, let's take a look. Thank you so much, Tamar. I'm glad you mentioned that. <laughs> this little swag banner right here, you know, we're going through two layers of paper there. It can really handle your tough jobs. Mm -hmm. So I think that the fact that we've created something, not only is it beautiful, but it's incredibly, incredibly functional and it's a workhorse. It yeah. really does a great job making your projects look professional. And whether you want to be making a tote bag mm -hmm. on fabric or a beautiful scrapbook layout, you don't need to switch out machines. You don't need two machines. We've created yeah. one that will do both jobs equally well for you. That's right. And so we've, cre we've stitched across felt here, giving you that zigzag stitch. Oh, look um, at that. I'm gonna go back to the, to the crafter machine in a second because I wanna show you how I can do that. Okay. Um, that scallop stitch with the, with the twine because I okay. think that's so cool. Uh, Stitching well. around here, this, this time we used a thinner twine. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Yeah. And just creating those like sweet little touches to your right. projects, you know? But you know what? And it brings something different and something special to your projects too. So if you've been crafting maybe for a while and you are looking to, to change up the look of your, uh, of your crafting, like we said, whether it's cards or scrapbook pages or home decor, all of it can work. We do have flex pay on the week. First off, we have a customer event price because it's not always going to be this price. It will be more after the event is over. We have an exclusive on this too. It's the only place you can get it. You've got flex pay, $29.99 to get this home. Are we crazy? Oh, really? <laughs> yes. oh, that's really exciting. Oh, I know. Look at that sweet scalp. I'm oh like God. obsessed with this scallop. It's my favorite <laughs> thing because I've never ever seen this on a sewing machine before. And I've certainly never been able to create it on my, um, on a, on a sewing machine where that I crafted with before. Yeah, so you can create that. that there. That's so pretty here. You can see the details, but that you get that Baker's twine effect uh -huh. with the scalloped trim. Imagine doing that on cards on, you know, on any project that you can think of mm -hmm. and, and really being able to create that special, that special little touch. So I'll turn this one around that I'm working with because you can't see it, but right here I have my tension. So if at any point you feel like the, the twine is um, not giving as much as you'd like, you can adjust that tension. You have your tension release here, so this makes it easy to pull the, um, the thread right on out when you're done with your project. Okay. So everything is right here on board for you. It's so simple. Like you said, you don't need a computer. You don't need to download any programs. Right. You just plug this into the wall. If you are familiar with sewing, I'm... I'm not an expert sewer by any means. Like, don't ask me to make you a pair of pants. But <laughs> I do know how to sew in a straight line, and I was able to get this thing going in yeah. five minutes. I knew what I was doing. And that's the deal. And that's going to be the same way with you. And if you want to try it, and I hope that you will, um, we you have first dibs on it because it is our showstopper, which means we didn't even air it you know, you know, before we wanted to make sure you had a chance to get it. So we're starting off with the, bl the blush that you see right there, and mm -hmm. we also have it in mint. Um, and you get threads to get you started. You get the bobbins to get you started. And um, so right out of the box, you're ready to go. And whenever you want or need more threading and, and other things, you can always come back to hsn.com to get it. But look, these are some of the ideas that you're gonna use. And then you're gonna create a thousand, a million more different things that you can do. Is that a tooth? It's a tooth. Well, wait, <laughs> look at the back. I didn't even notice this. It has, it has a, a little pocket. pocket. So if you wanna make pillows, Oh, girl, oh, you can go cute. right ahead and do it. And you can have that little detail. I love the detail of the twine stitching So when right the there. tooth fairy comes, they'll be able to find the tooth. Exactly. And, <laughs> and she'll be very impressed by your handmade tooth. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget. Hi, I'm Debbie Dunman, and we have the very best products for you all in one place. So get ready to be inspired to create that beautiful project because it's all about crafty solutions. We have the crafter experts here. So get ready to create and the shipping. Oh, you're going to love it. Five dollars to ship that entire craft order. Can you believe it? Get ready, get inspired, create. A die-cut set that is Christmas botanicals. So you can make walls of poinsettias. You can go over the top. Wait till you see the, uh, the gift topper that we uh, have also that you can make with this kit. 
Anna, this so is pretty. big and beauty. This, <laughs> it is. Big beauty. This, so it's a set of nine cut and, and embossed dies, and what you're going to be able to make are poinsettias, spruce, and holly from this. And what's going to happen is that you have these concentric shapes, and you layer them on top just like our flower dies, and you are going to have the most wow. gorgeous embellishments from being able to cut these out of whatever papers you have. These happens to be our Christmas metallic lace. So that, that is, I'll show you in front of us what you're going to make. So there are nine dies in, in the set. You're getting the large background um, poinsettia, and then there's a medium one, and I'm just going to set this on top to show you what happens as you're, you cut them out. You see you get that three-dimensional effect from cutting all three pieces. And the same thing with the holly. It's got this gorgeous little um, extra berries so that you can use this and the holly as well so to make a, a <laughs> life-size looking bouquet. So with each piece, you're getting two different styles types of, of greenery for Christmas. Now I've done it in gold, of course, but you can see how gorgeous the spruce is. So you can make, I, I have this card that I'll have to dig out over here that I think is so cute because we use the spruce to make a tree. Ooh. So with each one of these, it's a, it's a cut first and then embossed second experience. And let me just, oh, I see it. There it is. Okay, look. This is what, oh. this die, you, was so cleverly done, you just scored it and cut it multiple times to make an actual tree. That's incredible. That's, Isn't that cute? That, and then you put ornaments on it too. Yeah. That's fantastic. So that's, you know, pushing the die to a different, you know, a different level of design, so. One thing about the price tag, I just wanted to mention, obviously it's $29.95. Normally this is a $50 kit. So to me, seeing this price is kind of like a January sale price. And clearly you'll have plenty of time, have plenty of time to use this for making your Christmas card. So the price doesn't make total sense, but we're going with it because really that would be a price tag I would expect on like the last hundred that we would have maybe if we enter your left in January. And then you feel like, oh, I have to wait all year. But you get to use these right now and make yeah. your Christmas cards. So you, if you're, you're working, I'm, for some reason I'm working with the extra long plates, but you don't, you don't need the extra long plates for this set. But it does come with the extra long um, rubber mat from Cuddlebug. So dies go face up, paper goes face down. This is our 300 GSM metallic layers for Christmas. It's double-sided, and so you're getting a really nice heavyweight shimmer cardstock. Okay, so I'm also using the magnetic mat for the cuddle bug, and I'm going to cut, uh, cut both of these at the what same time. What does GSM stand for again? Grams per square meter. And are those papers on hsn.com? They are. Okay. Thank okay. You. So as you're cutting, so it's a you know it's a cut first, right? Cut to get the die cut. And then you want to use the rubber cutting mat that comes with the set, which is really nice, to emboss those details. So it's going to go on top of my die cuts, just like that, and I'll take out my metal, my magnet mat, like this. So it's a little, te it's a little tedious, you know, but it, at the same time, it's the, okay. the result is big, bold, and beautiful. And worth it. Right? Totally worth you it. You and I like that. We, we like do. big, bold, and beautiful. We really do. The yep. more the merrier. Perfect five-star customer pick. Isn't that nice? At $49.95. Today, it's $29.95. Three flex payments. And by the way, if you want the tool kit um, that Anna's using, that the tool-in-one. The tool-in-one. You the can ask for that one. at hsn.com. Get everything matching if Me. you can. <laughs> This is made by Spellbinders, and it has eight different attachments, everything from embossing to scoring to scrubbing. You, it, it makes the, you know, your things release from all your dies in you know, just the, the click of a button here. So with each one of these, you're going to create that beautiful, beautiful style. And here, I've done the small and the large, and if I can show you. I can't show you. Mix the materials. So what you want to do when you're cutting this, mm. use glitter paper, use vellum, use lots of different materials to create that amazing real life effect with the dye. Okay, there it is. Let me show you. See, multiple colors, multiple tones. That's the name of the game with this set. So there are nine of these dies, and you're going to get this. I love this. It's this needs to be on my mantle. It like really I need to make does. a garland with it for Christmas. Ooh, that would be pretty. But look look okay. at this. So I'm thinking, you know, as, as Christmas approaches, you're thinking about, I've already bought some gifts, right? How to wrap them the most special way possible. This is big enough. These dies are big enough to be an entire present topper. 
And I have found that even if you give a present that's not like really expensive, the more elaborate the packaging is, the more you can get away with. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that true? Well, I think the packaging is a gift in itself. Exactly. Especially when it comes to something as well thought through as this, okay? So you can make tags with these, and let me just show you what I, I think everybody wow. asked me for. Could you please show all your beautiful scrapbook pages? And, and I brought lots of them today. Oh, good. But you see how they take up so much real estate mm. on a scrapbook page this is really magnificent so that die that little um the little center die also comes with the poinsettia dies i didn't go over that okay sorry it wasn't no, no, the gold. So super sweet but look at the look at the beautiful pleated wheel behind all of those this is great for one of those hero photos that you want to frame this mm -hmm. too there again cutting out of the different papers and you get this incredible border it's lifelike oh i love it in white yeah it's so pretty white on white so white, pretty so elegant yeah. And gold. Okay, now what kind of paper, I'm just reading everybody's mind, what kind of paper is that exactly? Is that's that the holiday? That's the metallic, yes. Okay. That's the same beautiful cardstock for Christmas. So there we go, these, these kind of go hand in hand and you see how really lifelike the dimension is in each one. So you're, I mean, nine dies to create that, I mean, <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That's <laughs> exactly right. So less than a minute. Remember, this price is a special clearance price. Normally, lots of people that gave it perfect five-star reviews spent the 49, and they might be a little bit ahead now because they've been making their poinsettias for holiday already. So they've had that benefit, but you get it right now with plenty of time for only right. $29. Yeah, this this is a really great set, especially for making opulent Christmas cards. Oh, look at that. Oh, I think that. Oh, what did you do so there? So beautiful. So we took that. We so we dyed. I cut the regular poinsettia and instead of embossing the details we ran it through an embossing folder mm. which to gave which gave it a whole different Texture. life yes so all pretty. different looks look so holly yeah run all the papers through right it's, it's just it's so much fun to put these together pair these things create this gorgeous show-stopping kind of card that's my word today it's, it's a show -stopping. good one it is show-stopping oopsie <laughs> there goes rudolph sorry okay <laughs> listen he's so cute. he is so cute he and she <laughs> oh darling they were from our seasonal dyes last year oh they're great so but, sweet. The, but the spruce behind it does is come the, in this is set the yes oh look at that this does okay sweet. i know we have to wrap up 29.95 never before and once these are gone never again Right now, it is the Cricut. We know a Cricut, right? Because we love the Cricut cutting machines. If you're not familiar with it, just work with me here. What they do is they turn craft ideas with into technology reality. right into reality for us. It is a light pad, an LED light pad. We are going to be dimming the lights. There's nothing wrong with your TV. What am I going to do with this, Beth? Have you seen this in person? Yes. Okay. I, I've done this presentation with you before. Have you? That was me. Oh, that's right. Oh, that that's me. right. We had a great time last time. I'm just so excited <laughs> about it. So... For those of you who have a Cricut, or any die cutting Anything. machine for that matter, um, I love iron-on, I love the real intricate vinyls, but I hate the weeding. It's why I don't do a lot of projects. I see these glorious projects on Pinterest and everywhere, and I think, you know what, I'm glad you have time for that, but I don't because it's so frustrating. This is going to change the way you create. It's going to change the way you feel about vinyl and iron-on and that real thick glitter. So I want to show you how it works. So look at this, what looks to be a scrap of glitter vinyl, would you? You think, oh, that's nice for you. I already started weeding a little bit because I was very excited. Tell us what weeding is. But I'm, I'm going to show okay, you. Okay, it's okay. so good. good. But you think, well, that's nice. What are you going to do with that? So I'm going to lay this right down here on the bright pad. This is something that if I, weeding is when you take a tool and you sort of pick away at the negative edges to, re, to reveal the image. So I would be doing this and I'd be like way down here. I'd have to find a window, but watch what happens. I'm going to turn on the bright pad. This is the Cricut bright pad. All it's got is this power button on here. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. Wait for it. Boom. Oh. Look at how clean and crisp that is, even down to the little tiniest details. So now I don't have to squint. I don't have to stand by a window. I can get right in here and start peeling. So this is what weeding is, when you take those really intricate bits and start peeling them away. Tell me how you would do this otherwise. Well, you wouldn't, first of all. I would never make something like this. And this is a really dark, heavy glitter vinyl, which we all know, if you're familiar with Cricut, is very, very hard to see through. 
but with this bright pad, you can use it. What's great about it also is we did dim the lights a little bit because it's quite bright in here. <laughs> but if you're at home, um, my husband loves to watch TV in the evenings, and as do I, but I also want to work on some of my projects. You can actually, this has five levels of dimness. That's clever. So that if you want to work in the evenings, if your child is asleep and you want to work on your projects, or if you don't need quite as much light, but look at the difference in brightness levels. So you can do it for your eye comfort level, you can do it for whatever project you're working on. Let me show you some other projects. I'm just gonna switch these out. So again, this is a really heavy, this is wow. black, so off, yeah, on, off, on. Look at that! Look wow. at how easy this is going to be, again, for you to go ahead and weed out these little intricate images. Iron-on especially, this is Again, glitter vinyl, we've got some glitter iron on in just a second. But the really, the light colors I've found at home are easier to see through. It's these really dark, Carl, again, off, on. You cannot see a thing without this. And look at how crisp and clean this image is. I'm gonna do one more and then we're gonna bring up the lights for just a second so I can see, show you some of the projects. So off, switch it out. This it's like really a magic solves, trick. This really solves the problem of what in the on. world is going on. So oh, wow. this is foil. Foil is incredibly hard to work with because it is one shiny, shimmery surface that mirrors off of itself. But again, look at how easy this is. And now I can take my weeding tool and just start peeling away these intricate images. All of those projects that you've seen and you thought, okay, let me turn this off. We'll turn it up, turn the lights on for a second to see our glorious selves. <laughs> all those projects you've seen on Pinterest, all those great things you've seen on Cricut's website and you think, no one has time for that. You have time for that because now you've got the weeding tool. So remember this purple yeah. crazy scrap? Right. This is what it creates. Look at how gorgeous and intricate that is. How would you have done that before? That black, this black uh, leaf turned into this big, I, we glued it down to the table, I'm not gonna lie this big, gorgeous metal. How wonderful would that be as a hostess gift to give to someone for a housewarming? It will take you a tenth of the time to create these beautiful, intricate projects with this Bright Pad. But it's not just for Cricut stuff. It's not just no. for iron-on die cutting. If you are a jewelry maker, if you are someone who loves drawing. Beaters, for sure. This, tracing. Yes. For tracing. Siobhan and I share the same brain so often that sometimes it frightens me because we have, we did not talk about this before and I'm like, and? And she says tracing. Tracing. So this is a great image we printed off the internet. Okay. If you wanted to, you'd have to use like a tracing paper or a vellum, something very sheer. Again, we're gonna, we're gonna dim, bring on the romance, dim the lights down a little bit. So I'm gonna turn this on. This is regular drawing paper. Look at how clear that, I mean, it is as clear as if you are looking at it. You think, okay, fine, drawing paper, whatever. How about really thick watercolor paper? Again, clear as day. Now this one blew my mind because, oh, maybe you're a painter and maybe you'd like to do what? Canvas. What? That is, this is thick, feel that, Siobhan. That is thick how cool. art canvas. You lay that down and look at Ooh. how clear that is. I could paint, I could draw. If you're somebody that's learning how to do hand lettering or calligraphy, look at how absolutely clear as day. Okay. Canvas, look watercolor, that. isn't that the most amazing thing you've ever if seen? If you wanted to do needlepoint and you could get the mesh Come of on, the needlepoint. Stop it with really? the brain. Well, did you do but that fine, did I did, but I'm doing jewelry. How about jewelry oh, making? Oh, let's do it. Okay, let's do yeah. some jewelry making. So, again, I'm gonna turn this off for a second. <laughs> I was practicing this like, this may be a dumb idea to shake jewelry all over this. So you have these little tiny jewelry pieces that are hard to see, especially as we get, I'm not afraid to say I wear bifocals. When you turn that on, you can see the little tiny holes in each of the individual mm -hmm. gems. You see how that looks? Before, you would just be guessing where you needed to put your needle. Look at all of those. Oh, yeah. I mean, isn't that so? Cross stitch would be another one. All your home decor. If you're someone that wants to start a little business doing t-shirts and mugs and iron-on, this is going to make it so much easier for you. I also want to talk about the quality of it. Okay. So don't be scared, it's everyone. Cricket. It's cricket. It's so cricket. So you know it's great. But also, if you were doing a little darning, if you were doing any quilting, would oh, this come in handy absolutely. for that as well? It, anything that you need to be able to see detail. intricate detail in front of. There so um, this is a cricket that I brought here. There's a couple of things I want to tell you. This is okay. my own cricket from home. 
your bright pad can either plug into the wall mm -hmm. or it can plug into your computer so that you can take it with you. So this is my bright pad plugged into my computer. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't be alarmed everyone. Okay. This is why <laughs> Cricket, I know, I'm sorry. I should have mentally prepared you for that. I forgot that part. This is why. Oh, I did. I remembered everything yeah. else, but I forgot. Siobhan and I should have like <laughs> taken a nap before this. <laughs> but this is Cricut quality. This is. There are those twenty dollars light pads on the market, and you think, well, why should I get a Cricut bright pad? Because this can go in your crop bag. This can be used by your kids in the car. This is high quality. Cricut product. It's got these two rubber legs in the back, which is great if you want to maybe prop it up on, um, someone told me they propped it up on a rolled up towel because they just wanted to raise it a little bit. This is Cricut quality. This is what you're going to be able to do with it. I also want to show you if we can zoom in a little bit. Again, this is my Cricut from home, my bright pad from home. I have used, I have weeded and weeded and weeded and weeded and weeded. This is why you want a Cricut bright pad. There is not a scratch on it and I have probably weeded a hundred projects with this since I got it. Think of the possibilities. Think of everything that you will use it for. This is going to change the way you create. I'm just going to scribble on this. Just detail. all detail work. Right? All detail that work. You need, if you've ever thought to yourself, ooh, if I just had a better light. Oh, you know, oh, if this was just lit from under, underneath. You want to make hook rugs with different designs on it. This is an ultimate crafting tool right here. Leave it to Cricut. And then, uh, obviously. You know, and that you can throw it around is even like amazing, right? And the fact that it expands to things outside of Cricut. Jewelry making, embroidery. Look at that. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Again, off, on off, on. And for those of you who are maybe new to Cricut and you think, gosh, this is such an intricate pattern, I would never even do this in the first place. That's the great thing about Cricut. This is done with one touch of a button. So you're not having to spend two hours cutting this and then weeding it. You're spending five minutes cutting it and then five minutes weeding it because the bright pad is going to change the way that you create. Isn't that the amazing? The way you see. It's the, the way, way you, you see. see. Right. And I, you, we, you and I talked about this last time. I'm not ashamed to say that I wear bifocals. Well, um, I need to see. <laughs> yeah, we need but to see. with this, again, off, on, off, on. And I also want you to see there's not a difference you need to do with one material or the other. So this is the um, foil, and this is a real heavy glitter vinyl. I can see them both equally sitting next to each other on the bright pad. So there's not a, okay, I'm using foil, I need to bring it up, or I need to bring it down, or I'm using glitter vinyl. You do it for your comfort level, mm -hmm. for what you, what makes it easier for you to see, for the environment that you're in. You have five different levels, it's on and off. And what else I think, Cricut absolutely thinks of everything. So. If you're a lefty, um, my cousin I said last time is a lefty, and anytime she uses anything, usually the power cord is over here. Mm -hmm. And so especially if you're weeding and you're left-handed, you're gonna knock the power cord out every time you use it. Cricut has tucked it up here above where you are almost never going to be putting your hand, and it's in there inserted so that if you do bump it, it's not gonna come out. And see, this is gonna, and also, if you drop it while it's lit, <laughs> or while it's plugged in, no problem. No problem at all. Can we see this again? Because this just looks like a crazy Girl, piece you of can, you can glitter, see it all. glitter paper. I'm right? here to serve you. Oh, no. Off. No, no. On. Yes, yes. Off. <laughs> okay. On. I also, if do we have any time left? I'd love to re show just one more time the amazing, for people who love to draw. Again, here's our image. This is canvas. Look at, that is crystal clear. It's actually even clearer when you look at it through the canvas. See, it's a little bit washed out there. Crystal clear watercolor paper. If you have a young artist in your family or you're an aspiring artist, hand lettering is huge right now. Sure. This is going to change the way you learn, change the way you create, change the what you give as gifts, especially this holiday season. The possibilities are just endless. And again, regular tracing paper. 79.95 for flex payments of about $20. That's that was amazing. our showstopper. Isn't that good? And we sold out of it last time we were here and it's just now back. So this is a great time to get it while again is good. And we have, do we have all the colors? Mint, blue, lilac, or I think or we rose. just have mint. Mint may be the just color mint. that we have. Mint's That's it. good. Ask your representatives. Don't worry. Don't ever think the colors, okay? Just get it because it's all about the it's, light. Yeah.
I'm Debbie Denman, and we've picked the very best products for you here at HSN so that you can shop all in one place. The best steals and deals. And you've been enjoying our Crafty Solutions Hour, but the fun doesn't stop. Just keep on shopping because if you have to return something, not a problem. Just know this, we have the holiday extended returns. The date you need to write down, January 31st, 2018. So if something doesn't work out or you need to exchange, you can take advantage. So keep shopping, keep that creative thinking cap on, get inspired and create. I am loving this. <laughs> Have you done these before? <laughs> no. You're getting 30 bags of little gold shaker or sparkles. Yes. Little like. Sorry. And that's going to have Oh my gosh. There. You're going to go crazy. All right. So what is this, Callie? This is our newest card making kit. Our card making kits are labors of love where we demystify difficult cards. All right. We put everything in one box that you need to make things that are elaborate, that are intricate, that are interesting. And we've updated this look just by itself because we've given you a fresh little perspective on birthday cards. So three oh. three different kinds of cards you're getting in this set and we are, can't find another one, but there we go. Stars, hearts, and presents. All Stars, right. hearts, and presents. Yes. How cool is that? Plus you're getting, you can make enough for 30 cards, right? Yes. And you're getting 30 little bags of these little gold sparkles, which is so much fun. All the envelopes and it comes in, of it course, does. your wonderful oh, packaging. Mine is the one that's perfect. Is okay. It? Okay. So, so look at this. It's perfectly engineered to come in the box Beautiful. ready to go. Those little shaker pouches are in here, your envelopes, all your layers, and everything that you're going to embellish these cards with are stickers. So you'll start with, um, it'll start in front of me, where there are 10 of each shape. So 10 stars, okay. 10 cards that you can make with the stars. These are the card surfaces and they are concentric layers, right? What th that means is that they, you punch out this little window to cover, to, to, to over the shaker. Okay. All right, this becomes an embellishment that Perfect. you use on an envelope or so such. Then these are the these are the overlays for the stars. These are the decorations, and these are the sentiments. And then when you get to here, you have the card surface that looks like it's a rectangle, right? Just like that. Mm -hmm. But you can add a bow and ribbon to it to create a present. How cute is Very that? Very cute. And then the heart, the heart does the same thing. We have concentric hearts, and then the borders. I love that nothing goes to waste. No, right? And there's over there are 80. There's, it's over 200 pieces to create the 30 cards. So we're all. Also getting your pile. You have your pile of the shakers <laughs> or the gold. Your shaker pile and my card pile and my envelope pile. So, so for the 30. gold, the one thing you do need to know is that this did air earlier and over 3,000 are gone. We have 2,000 left for this big show tonight. So these will also, this will be the third sellout in a row based on how things have been going. So I don't want you to wait because you'll be disappointed. Stock up while you can. It's item 542054. We are saying another hello to Patty in Missouri who's ordering lots of things from you tonight. Hello, Patty. You're with Anna Griffin. Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm starstruck. I can't believe I'm actually talking to you. You well, are. I was just texting my girlfriend to say, go turn on HSN right now. I know I'm going to get on. But I just have to tell you, you are just wonderful. Oh. You are such an inspiration. And I, I don't know if you've read any of my, my things on your blog, but um, I have, um, I'm a cancer survivor right now. I'm, uh, my scans are clear, and um, I have liver cancer. Oh, no. And uh, it got me down pretty low, mm. and the one thing that gets me back going is doing all of my crafts and you're the reason that I do them. Oh. I just love watching you and you you're just great. You're fantastic. Mm. Thank you. Oh, my heart goes out to you right here. Oh, right here. And and I'm so excited I have a ticket to create. Um I may I made the cut to come to your thing in November. So, I'm so excited. I I can't wait to meet you. Oh, 
Patty. I'm. Oh, oh dear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is recently, right? When we had the the tickets open. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, Patty. What's your last name? I'm sorry to ask. Uh, Siebert. Okay. Siebert. Good. All right. I'll be ready for you in November. <laughs> okay. uh, I hope I I'm hope. healthy enough to come and see you and, me too. and learn so much. I'm mainly a scrapbooker, but you've made me a and card maker. We will oh, have Patty. we will have the crafting time of your life. I promise. Patty Siebert. Okay. Thank you, Anna, so oh, much. And gosh, thank, thank you, you HSN, for all mm. you do. Too. Thank you, oh. Patty. God bless right. you. Yes. God Bye -bye. bless you. Bye-bye. Ooh. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. Call. You know, you'd never realize how you touch people by right? standing here, you standing know. on don't, this side of the don't. table. <laughs> don't go there. Okay. No, I'm, all right. <laughs> I'm going to talk through this. But really, crafting, that's what crafting's all about, right? You're making something. You are using your time and your thoughts and your creativity, and you're reaching out to people with beautiful, beautiful things. And that. I, that's why we're all here. Yeah. You know, no, it makes you true. feel good. It makes them feel it good. It does. It's, it's all, it's all good. Right, let's shake it up. Let me just shake it up. Watch this. We're counting backwards, guys. We've sold 3,500. We're counting backwards. So don't wait for another minute. 542054. Okay. What did, what just happened, Callie, was you just that I, we took the little shaker that is the piece. Brilliant. Okay. And added a little adhesive and just put it over the window. Okay. Everything's perfectly engineered. So really you're just making layers. So this is a big sticker that I'm putting See? on. Amazing. So everything in the kit is a sticker. And now we have our framed, beautiful little shaker. Well, you could stop there if you wanted to. I mean, if you wanted something simplistic, that's perfect. You know, I like that. Then we made stickers mm -hmm. that are concentric, that mm -hmm. actually go over that little foil stamped edge. We made perfectly arched sentiments. And look at this, you know, little bitty, little bitty stickers, right? to just be mm. creative with. Now, all you have to do is put that in the mail. Add That's something it. lovely in here. Don't like, just sign your name, write a message, please. Yes, <laughs> you're right, write a thought or two. That's true, I, right. I, I appreciate that as well. So it's and that simple. It is that simple, and I love how Anna makes it, you know, she makes this all look so good. And she doesn't mind that we take credit for it. But we like to give her credit back because she just does such a beautiful job on her, on her things. And as you're ordering 542054, we welcome Connie in Nebraska. Gosh, Hi. it sounds like you've ordered a few things today, Connie. I have, and I love everything that Anna does. Everything oh, is you. just very classy. Yes. And um, I have... I have sent so many cards out, and I always get comments back that are very positive, and people keep saying they saved them. And they, uh, I have a girlfriend that I send them to, and she has a wall in her room that she puts them up on the wall every time I send her one. Oh, oh. that's great. Keeps it. Yeah. And I it, bet she thinks about you every day. <laughs> I, I, I would like to think so. Yes. Um, I just think you... Uh, put out a very quality product and I would not have gotten into card making if it had not been for the first card kit that I ever ordered from you and that got me hooked. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. Yeah, I and I just added and added to my um, added and added to my Anna Griffin um, supply. And uh, I I may I just got through making graduation cards and I've got Mother's Day cards awesome. made, and I've got Father's Day cards coming up, and a whole ton of birthdays in between. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> oh, oh, Connie. So did you get this shaker one? Did you get this one today? Yes, I did. Oh, oh good. I'm real excited to get that. I'm These very excited to get that. I got that, and I got the perfect, uh, perfect palette uh, cards for the guys. Oh, I'm good. I'm looking for things for the guys in my life. Right. So, I got the toppers and I got the cards, uh, the perfect palette um, uh, card card things. So I'm excited about doing those too. They're going to come in really handy for Father's Day cards. For yes. sure, indeed. And we've got a lot of Father's Day things coming up in this final hour tonight. So stay with us. Although it sounds like you're pretty well supplied. <laughs> <laughs> I am. And I'm happy to be. Good. Good, Good deal. Thank you again, Connie. Uh -huh. Thank, Bye -bye. Thank you. Thanks, Anna. Thank you. Well, that was great. It's all right, so, so all we're doing, so Connie and I, we're, so we're cool working with, with one is. of these little miraculous card kits. It is, we make it so simple. One of, the, one of the things I noticed that when I was building these, I wanted my sequins face up. So they, sh they shook better when, the, when it was face up. 
<laughs> you're so cute. You know, you learn things as you're working with these thing, with these kits. But see, this is the sticker part. You're just actually peeling off all the, the paper in the back, and, and th this is all garbage, right? And I want my top, come on, there we go, at the top. So overlay, shaker, would be great for Christmas, this one, wouldn't it? So oh, wow. easy, right? <laughs> A little star, little star. There we go. So each one, I say, what you need to do is take your own embellishments, all those things, the extra things that you have, even if they're too big, like giant flowers or something, cut them apart you know and what? decorate with A these. Good idea. I just realized I think I should send this to my sister-in-law because she loves to send those cards that when you open it, everything just falls everywhere. The confetti cards. And it makes you crazy because it's like. <laughs> Did you it's, see last night? No. Oh. No. Oh, last night we had confetti dyes and we popped confetti all over the studio. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> It was great. <laughs> it really was. It was a lot of but fun. But I love that this is contained. Yes. You know, you don't There's make a no, big old mess. There is no mess in this card kit. This I except know. for the stuff that comes off the back of the stickers. And that's, you know, that's really the only problem. <laughs> so so here, when I was talking about adding the things that you already have, like this little anchor from our Seafarer collection. Cute. So easy, right? Decorate the insides of the cards. Give yourself, you know, a little treat inside and out. I never thought about that. No. Hello. Hello. No. I mean, because I, I'm so focused on like writing a, on my own personal thoughts or notes. Oh right. So but when I you go back, it's like inside. right. I just gave you. I just gave you a reason not to write. <laughs> <didn't I? laughs> well, we want well, you to if do you that. Don't have thoughts that you want to share. Just embellish on the inside. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Easy. So as you're starting, one of the things you don't have to do with the present is do the ribbon. You really can just do the bow. Isn't that fun? Oh, for and sure. And then I also saw on our Facebook page where people, so many people got this kit before we ever aired it. They've had it for the last few weeks. I saw a lady take this and add it to a, a seven by seven piece of paper and her shaker card, this was the middle was of it, giant. but it was mounted. Yes, it was big. And I was like, okay, this is a five and a half inch square, everyone. So if you're wondering what, what size this is, but you could mount them. All day long. It's all day long. Bigger. Have at it, no question. Yeah. Okay, so we're at almost 4,000 sold with everybody on the phone. I know we're counting backwards, but we don't even have 1,000. I know it's showing 1,400. We have hundreds of people. This is that shaker card kit. This this rocked all day long. So get this now because these are also with the stars and then the center one with the bows and then the hearts. You've, you've got so many options to just really celebrate any occasion of the year. It is our Anna Griffin handbag and coin purse gift card dies. You're seeing it and you're realizing that for the holidays, when you want to give somebody a gift card, you could not even think of a better way to present it. Anna, this is a winner. This is so much fun. Okay, so if you're interested in giving gift cards and you want to create a special container, a mm -hmm. wrapper, a package, or a, an actual card, these are considered cards, right. you can do that with this set of dies. Okay, so it's six dies and they're big okay so they're they're one millimeter powder coated steel dies are heavy duty things you get the coin purse with the little outline of the coin purse and you'll see in a minute why that's important to, to do the outline and the detail then this is the universal pocket that okay. the gift card fits in and it's size for standard gift cards all kinds okay you know the ones you buy at the at the grocery store and then this is the second one and this is the an actual little gusseted purse all right and that all three of these pieces go together again coupled with the pocket that's so I don't need to make any choices with this. No, you're getting them all. And what's really fun is that on this one, the little holes for the ribbon are punched at the same time nice. as the actual purse. And then what 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 happens is that it, this has just completely come apart sitting here all Do this time. Do <laughs> Right? This I a, couldn't tell, Anna. I thought it was part I of the presentation. Until I started to play with it, right? I just, it just disintegrated in my 1400 hands. 1,400 left. Okay, so... Here's the tip. Use really heavy-duty adhesive <laughs> good, with these, good all right? Not the cheap stuff. Get out your permanent adhesive. Okay, so <laughs> here's how it works. One of the things that you need with your cuddle bug are the extra-long plates because these dies are so big. Um, so this is the 13-inch extra-long plate. The rubber, I, I'm not using the rubber mat. I'm actually using the magnetic mat. Okay. And so you have the B plate, die face up. 
paper face down. I'm using our new double-sided um, paper that we had today, which is really beautiful, 12 by 12, and just cut it down to the five and a half inches. Mm -hmm. All right, so as you're using the, the, the die for the first time, you just, all you're doing is cutting. Can you hold this? Because it does not sticking down. to the table today. This one's dirty. The feet of the machine, the, the bottom of the machine. And that's when it won't dirty. stick. Right, it won't yeah. stick. And I noticed that when we first came out here, I was like, what is this? And I think Beth Kingston is actually doing an Instagram story about this right is now. Is she really? And what's really funny is that we should Insta story that. <laughs> Shouldn't we? You, All right. Uh, uh, okay. She's right behind the camera right now. Here we go. Oh, All right, so beautiful little purse. All right, and it's already scored and already ready to fold. And then you would go back and use the little die to highlight the coin purse part. Okay. okay. I love this. Then you just need to create a little belly band for for this to hold it closed. All right. So each one of these, we created a belly band. I so need a belly band. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry, I digress. <laughs> Moving on. I love that. I didn't know I said that out loud. Sorry. You know, that's one of the things I enjoy most about you, Adam Freeman, <laughs> is that you say what you think. Thank you. And Anna. so, okay, so this is going to hold the card closed until it's re received by the person you're giving it to. Okay. So, again, you want to open these. The, the little pieces can interlock. The gift card goes right inside. Okay. It is enough. Standard fabulous. size. We looked for an HSN one today, couldn't find one. It's not Christmas yet. Like the light here. Guard. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. And so that's one size. I love the little purse one that fell apart. This is, but the, I just wanted you to see. It's like, when we made it. Can you imagine showing up at, at a dinner party and you need to bring a hostess gift and right. it looks like this? This is what this is what you want to do, right? You you can't show up it, empty handed. It, it's as valuable as the card inside. It sets the scene. It's not just generic like everything else. Let's go to Texas and say good evening to Sherry. Sherry, welcome to HSN. Sherry, meet Anna. Oh, I love both of you. Oh, and, Sherry. Uh, Anna, you are so beautiful inside and out. Oh, and thank you. I'm the lady that does machine embroidery angels. And I just wanted to say hello and your products. I oh. think my husband's going to divorce me because I've bought so much. <laughs> but Surely anyway. not. Oh. <laughs> I hope not. But um, everything is just beautiful. And also, I'm the lady that had the heart transplant it, that I told you about my family. But anyway. I remember uh, you. It, and you sent us those beautiful angels, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Anyway, everything that you make is so elegant. Oh, thank you. E even if it's whimsical, it is elegant. Yeah. And I wish you okay? Well, I didn't hear, but anyway, um, I love the card kits because I give them to the members of my church, oh. and they just think I'm so creative, and I don't tell them that it's from Anna. Oh. <laughs> right, that's how it's supposed to go, Sherry. You're supposed to get all the credit. That's and I love, and, and another thing, the card kits and anything is easy to make. Yes. That's right. That's we we aim to make it really simple and really easy so yeah, that you call. enjoy your crafting. Sherry, thank you so much. And you know, it doesn't matter wh who you're giving these to and whether it's family, friends, uh, people at church, they are so well received. And these words keep coming back again and again, opulence and elegant and beautiful and an old world and artisan style. I mean, it there's so many things associated with a very unique brand that Anna has created. This is as unique as it gets folks nobody else has it so let's do let's quickly say sure. people like sherry request products from us all the time yep. and this is truly a product request of many many fans and that's so why enjoy making your gift card holders the angelic card toppers here we go 1,300 of these are already gone today. It's 29.95, That's what you need to know. And then you're like, what? The Angelic Card Topper second version? Yes, if you had the first, I know you've been waiting for this. If you missed on the first, don't worry, you're getting this now. But half are already gone for the visit. Uh, Anna, Anna, Anna. 
Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh. So this is so pretty. So pretty. <laughs> so you collect angels. I do. Well, I collect angels for my Christmas tree. And so my mother started it the year I was born. Mm. And so I have a great deal of angels. Um, but one of the things that I work with as a designer every day is antique ephemera. And what does that mean? That means beautiful, um, Anti this is an antique postcard normally, mm -hmm. or something from the, the, the 1800s. And what I've done is made you an almost card kit with this angelic card toppers. And so what you're getting, we'll just start out with the silly, the little foam adhesive. And so these are, you're gonna build the top of your cards with all of these things. So foam adhesive, then you're getting two layers, not the card, okay? So these are layers that work together, all right? So you have a five by seven layer, and then you have a concentric four by six layer. And with each one, I found that when we was working with the palette of color, the flesh tone of all the beautiful angels mm. looked better with gray and gold and just a little bit of red and green. So this is a very neutral set of frames and beautiful backgrounds. You're getting some of those antique postcards that have been redesigned and reimagined. And then here are the new angels. Mm. And so this one, my favorite, okay. Oh. <laughs> See, look at how close can we look at this? She's so they're so beautiful. All right, and when you're look at like you and me, brunette and a blonde. <laughs> She has highlights too. <laughs> oh, That's pretty. Right. Okay, so with each one of these, there, there's. I think you'll find someone mm. in here of their angelic faces and styles mm. that are so absolutely beautiful. So we also give you. Not, these are all three three dimensional. So you see how she's she's three dimensional, and then so so multiple layers, and then she's a sticker on the back. So you just peel away the cardstock ever so slightly, and then the, it's just a big giant sticker. Okay, and then she works with all of the embellishments. You're getting glitter, you're getting foil stamped embellishments, and then sentiments that are so pretty. Like they say, Alleluia. They mm. say, sing praise. Things that angels might say. Yes. <laughs> right? How many okay. Christmas trees do you have, Anna, at Christmas time with angels on it? Just, well, just one. Just one big one? Yeah, yeah, just one giant one. Oh, I bet. Oh, yeah. Well, the last past year, was it was almost... It was 10 and a half feet. Oh my gosh. It was so beautiful. Okay, <sighs> so this is what happens. So I've added a card to the back, but these, this is the entire topper. Mm. So you use the card surface, the layer, and then the beautiful pieces to that work together. And the, the sister angels. Oh, Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Okay, I, so sweet. I love everything about this kit. And we did um, the angelic card toppers one, um, two years, the, for the past two years. And I knew that I wanted to do a brand new set just for this year. I love all their, their halos with the stars. Yeah. And they're just absolutely mesmerizing. And yeah. you're, you, of course their faces are so well, angelic. They're so sweet. Well, that's, uh, that's how they got picked yeah. <laughs> by, by me. <laughs> it was like, okay, you have to have a certain, a certain attitude, Miss Angel, so that you, you know, are giving joy to others when we're making cards with these things. So let me just show you how this works. Okay. And so I will um, put this away. I, again, there's nothing you need except the card surface itself. And so I picked the the gold surface and then one of the layers. This um, actually is, is not part of it. All right, so one of the things that's really pretty is that this frame is part of an angel, right? She she comes like this, look at this. Okay, so look, a wreath around her. She's so pretty and I thought, oh, I saw this and I think this is just, look at what, how simple that is and how beautiful that becomes just with just her. And really there's nothing else to do except maybe add this little happy Christmas and a little mm. swirl of glitter just to give you that um this is a very subtle very sophisticated christmas card truly yeah. truly we have a aileen am i saying your name right hi hello hello <laughs> oh, i'm sorry i don't want to cry oh and from pennsylvania oh, so happy to get through to you oh my goodness i have bought i tried to buy at least ev ev all of your products i make cards and um, I was diagnosed with cancer some years ago. And so it gave me my own project and mm -hmm. it gave me something to do. And so I hand them out now to um, 
where I was taking my treatments at. I, I give them to the small children. And you were talking about the Wendell Bucks cards as having flowers because most of the children can't have real flowers. So they have Anna Griffin flowers there. And Aww. my children come and say, I need a card, Mom, right away. Or it just, it just, it's the most I can't even say, my, my words won't come out the right way. I'm just so excited to be able to say thank you so much because when I say, oh, Anna, I, it sounds like you're a family member when I'm talking about you. <laughs> I I'm am. To my family, I'll say, oh, well, Anna did this and Anna did that. And so <laughs> I feel like you're my personal friend. And I just, Aww. you and Siobhan both, you're awesome. Aww. I love you. I thank you. And I will. My daughter is recording me talking to you oh, on fun. TV. I have this for the rest of my life, and I'm oh. appreciative. <laughs> That's fantastic. Totally fantastic. It's wonderful to hear your voice. Many blessings oh, to you. you. Thank you. Thank you. You oh, guys thank be you. blessed. Have a good evening. You oh. too. It's so good to hear from you. I love the way you're paying it forward with all those cards. Yes. Yes. So, so sweet. So, Siobhan, I didn't say a while ago that I skipped over everything about this. There's 24 card <laughs> layers in two sizes, 24 angels and, a, and 24 sentiments, and then a plethora of embellishments that all go together. So look at what, what happens when you start building. Maybe you add, like Patricia said, you add all those other Anna Griffin things that you have. Like right here, you use our ornamental frame dies with this, and they just become just even more spectacular with each layer okay we will keep you posted those are obviously extremely popular five seven two two five nine Aileen thanks for calling Patricia